quite an independent soul, and I think I enjoyed that independence here on the island. Coming from a really urban area and um, sort of built up an industrial place, it's just a beautiful contrast to going to an island that's so quiet and idyllic and serene, and, and, and that's what attracted me. I only got off the island once this year, so I went off in the afternoon. I got back early morning on a weekend, Saturday to Sunday, and in my 2007 season, I didn't get off at all. It's stunning. I mean, essentially for me, the attraction for the island was just the amount of wildlife in one small spot, but it's also just got so much character. You know, there's so many little, little spaces you can find. We get one shopping delivery once a week, usually on a Tuesday, and that's weather dependent. There's no electricity out here, essentially, other than a generator. I mean, water is restricted and it depends on how much rainfall we get. I mean, usually it's quite a lot, but there have been years when less. So essentially we're allowed one share a week, which you do thoroughly look forward to. The only spot on the island where we have a junction, it literally is a tea junction as well, we call Spaghetti Junction. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it has got the only signpost as well. One of those places when you look at the buildings and and they do look still quite old, you, you feel it's quite timeless, like you could just walk around the corner and there's somebody from 150 years ago is gonna pop up. This year we put, I think it was around 100 decoy puffins in two different spots. The idea with these decoys is you attract potentially pioneering breeding birds into the, to the calf so that they'll come in with the decoys and start nesting. I'm incredibly passionate about wildlife conservation and that's what that's what drives me and, and this is one of the most, most stunning locations you could possibly do that job.